Hey, what is up? This is Fred from Influencer Unchained, and today I'm going to show you a free tool that I discovered while creating some of my own content that will not only be useful for you as a content creator, but also for making money online. First, I'm going to show you how to easily configure and use this software to do a pro's work even as a complete beginner, followed by some monetization strategies, and finally, I'm also going to review another free software for you to plug and play some preset settings to even elevate your game even further. But before we get started, do remember to smash the like button as it really does help me, so thank you so much. And also you can consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and ring the notification bell for more cutting edge videos about making money online and digital entrepreneurship just like this one. And with that, let's get started with the video. Getting started right away, I'm going to show you some opportunities over on Fiverr.com which is the most popular website for buying and selling freelance work and today we're going to be looking at how to perform audio remastering which actually spans many different types of gigs which gives you many different opportunities. By first learning some basic techniques that are actually very easy to perform as I will show you using a completely free yet powerful software. So the first example of a gig that you can easily perform is podcast editing or podcast remastering, the latter of which is a bit easier, um, but you can actually level up by learning a bit of editing skills as well, which is also not too difficult to do. But anyway, this person here, for example, um, is offering both. So first they have this gig here, which they charge $50 for, and uh, for which they edit, mix, and master a person's podcast. And if we switch over to their alternative gig, this is actually just a pure um, mastering one. So here they charge $20 for the mixing and mastering and all this really is is cleaning up an audio clip to remove unwanted background noise while also making the clip sound clear and more pronounced and professional. And again, while in this video, I'll show you how to do all that stuff, but if you want to take your skills even further to open up even more opportunities, later on I'll also point you towards some resources and tutorials of which there are a bunch that you can literally just follow step by step. Plus, with how useful the software I'm about to reveal is, you can actually list and take on a whole bunch of related audio mastering gigs at the same time. And in case you didn't know, even with a new Fiverr account as a level 1 seller, you can already list up to 7 different gigs on the platform, which will increase as you go up in the ranks. And another great thing about doing this with this software is that I not only believe that it has a low learning curve, but it's also one of the more efficient ways you can use to um, make money as a freelancer. So with that, let's move on to a couple more examples of different types of gigs on Fiverr. And here we have, um, let's see, podcast editing is the same type. So podcast editing, noise reduction, and fixing the audio and cleaning it up, which is starting at $10 to $25 to $50. And then if we look over here, we also have another type of gig called vocal tuning, which has more to do with um, singing and music. But this is also very easy to do with that software I'm going to show you because a lot of stuff is pretty much just point and click. But anyway, uh, if you want to look for more gigs and opportunities on Fiverr, you can just go over to the music and audio category here where there are a bunch of different ones that you can try out. Essentially, anything that involves some kind of audio remixing or remastering can be done using this software. And later on, if you want to even uh, expand your repertoire to even doing your own voiceover and perhaps remastering your own voice to make it sound extremely nice, later on I'll also show you another software in addition to this one um, that'll help you basically plug and play with some settings that have been set up by other people or you can use my settings as well that you can just upload onto your software to use as your own to make your voice sound super good and then with the remastering software you can then produce really great voiceovers if that's your thing. Of course! And now moving right over to the first software I want to show you which is also the main remastering software. We have Audacity which as you can see is a free open source cross-platform audio software. And not only is its interface quite simplistic and easy to use, but if I scroll down and check out its features, it's got a load of them and pretty much anything that involves editing or customizing any sort of audio clip can be done with Audacity. And you can even record your own um, voiceovers and instrumentals and whatever on Audacity as well. So here we are on the Audacity software and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it starting with recording a sample clip. So first what I'm going to do is click on this red button here to begin my recording and obviously I have a microphone and some configurations with the microphone to be able to actually record my voice. But anyway, let's go ahead and proceed with the recording. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and hit the recording button here. Hey everyone, this is Fred with a friendly reminder to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Alright, and once I'm done, this is actually recorded, but once I'm done, I need to hit the stop button here. 
And by the way, if you're just doing an audio remastering gig, say from Fiverr, you don't actually have to do your own recording, obviously. All you need to do is to click on file and import whatever mp3 file or other type of audio file that your client has provided for you. So let's just say you've loaded in this particular audio file. And now let me show you just a couple of tools which are pretty much the only ones you'll need to be able to navigate around an audio clip on Audacity. And the first one is this one on the top left that I'm highlighting right now called the selection tool, which you can also access by hitting F1. And then the second one is this one called the time shift tool, which, you can, be, uh, which can be accessed with F5. And pretty much all these are, starting with the selection tool, which is the one again on the top left, is um, this one actually just allows me to click on any part of the audio and allows me to highlight anything or start the audio from anywhere. So for example, if I set the marker here and hit play, it'll actually start the um, right, clip once from I'm here, done, right? As you can see. And for example, in this case, um, my audio clip was cut off too late because I recorded some extra stuff. And so with the selection tool, I can actually select all that extra stuff starting from here and just drag it all the way to the end and hit backspace to delete them all. And as for the second tool called the time shift tool right over here, if I click on it, this actually allows you to move any audio clip along the time axis. So for example, if I want this clip to start later or I can move it, if I want to make it start earlier, which I should because the front, um, the front portion here really isn't anything other than noise. And although I could also clean that up using some effects, but I'll show you that later. But what I could also do is just move this in front to make it start right away. Just make sure that as a rule of thumb that you switch back over to the selection tool after using the um, time shift tool because that'll allow you to again click on whatever parts of the clip and highlight whatever parts you need to edit uh, with ease. So with that, let me just switch back real quick. And now let's move on to some easy remastering effects you can do with pretty much any sort of voiceover clip. But first, let me actually play back my own um, voiceover here to give you a sort of before and after. Hey everyone, this is Fred with a friendly reminder to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Alright, and as you can see here, I actually made a copy of my original clip down here to have a better comparison of that before and after, so that we can listen to both. But anyway, to just edit one of them, just to show you some of the effects, I'm going to highlight this first one here. And then the first effect I want to show you is the equalizer. So all I need to do is to go to the top, click on effect, and as you can see, there are a bunch of different effects here, all of which you can offer, or whichever ones that are relevant you can offer, but I'm going to show you a few that are crucial. And the first one, in my opinion, is the equalizer and with that I can click on equalization here and while it will look a bit more confusing at first all we're really doing with the equalizer is changing up the volumes for the highs and lows of that audio clip or in this case my voice right or that person's voice so for example my voice will have different intonations right and here all we're doing is emphasizing the highs and emphasizing the lows to create a more of a dynamic feel to the voice so all you're going to do here is first of all go to the lower range at 100 hertz and just pin it down at 100. So if I click on it, it'll create like a pin and then I'm going to make a second pin on the left that I can actually drag. So here, as you can see, there are like two white dots if you look closely. And if I drag up the left or the one on the left, I can just make this a bit louder, right? Let's say six decibels louder, which is slightly louder for my lower range of my voice. And then subsequently, we're just going to go over to 2000 Hz to do the exact same thing for the higher ranges of my voice. So again, I'm going to pin this and then make another pin right after to then drag this up to roughly the same loudness. All right, and with that, I can just go to the bottom right to hit OK to finalize this. And then to the next step, we're going to be so-called normalizing the audio. And I think basically what it means is stretching out the loudest parts of the audio to their maximum without distorting anything, just keeping, the, just keeping it um, within the range to have proper audio after you've already applied that um, equalization, right? So with that, I can just go to the effect. Um, go to Amplify, and fortunately, it actually does so automatically for you, however much you need to normalize the audio. So all you need to do is, you don't have to worry about changing anything, just go to, um, again, Effect, and then Amplify, and it's going to fix it up for you. Um, it's going to detect the optimal um, settings and just fix it up for you. And all you need to do is hit OK again. And here, although it's a bit hard to tell, it actually made my loudest points a little bit softer to fit within this grid. So um, with the normalization, with this amplify function, it can actually make your audio a bit softer or louder depending on what you actually need. But basically, you don't have to worry about what numbers you type in, right? Just have it um, automatically detect it for you. 
And moving on to the next step to make your audio sound even better, we're going to be doing something called compression, which is essentially reducing the very loudest parts of the audio and while enhancing some of the softer parts to make the range a bit more balanced. So with that, I'm going to go to effect again and hit the compressor and pretty, you can pretty much tweak some of these settings to test out different ones. But what I like is something around negative 30 and then negative 50. I learned this from like a pro as well. So you can try these settings or you can try your own, but here you can do something like a three to five. It'll actually sound um, drastically different. Um, I'm, let me just do like four. Oh, actually I need to check this as well. So make sure you do this and then I'm going to hit OK. All right. And with that, the audio is actually already going to sound very different. So let me actually play it for you um, again. Hey everyone, this is Fred with a friendly reminder to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And you can probably tell that that clip just now is very different from what I originally started with. However, there are still a couple of flaws being some of the background noise I have yet to clean out. And fortunately with Audacity, that is very easy to do as well. So again, let me highlight this clip once more. And then this time I'm going to go into effects again. And then here I'm going to click on noise reduction. Actually, there's a bit of an added step here, which is to get the noise profile, which is the part of the audio that actually contains the noise you want Audacity to target to then reduce. So instead of hiding the entire clip like I just did, I'm just going to hit cancel real quick and do this again. So this time I'm going to hide the portion that only contains the noise. So for example here, and there's other parts with noise as well, but you only need to highlight one part. And um, here I'm going to again click on effect, hit um, noise reduction and then click on get noise profile to finalize this and then I can highlight the entire clip go to effect again noise reduction and then the default settings generally work quite well so with this I'm just gonna hit OK and before I play the clip one last time to show you the final result just keep in mind that um, some of these settings may not apply optimally to all voices it's because some people sound a bit different by nature so you can just play around with some of these different settings using the same um, the same effects right for example amplification is really good compressor equaliz uh, equalization these are all very useful as well as noise reduction right these four are very important and you can just play around with the settings on each of these but anyway let me just play this clip again for you one last time. Hey everyone, this is Fred with a friendly reminder to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And that was how to use Audacity to clean up audio, remove background noise, and just make somebody's voice sound a little bit better and more professional. But just one thing I would change if I were to do this again is um, in this demo, I actually did the noise reduction last and that may have resulted in some pockets of um, my voice that I actually wanted to keep being removed. So um, if you're going to do it yourself, I recommend doing the noise reduction as the very first thing instead of the last like I did. Uh, can you remind me what I pay you people for, honestly? Now, moving on to a couple more examples of how you can make money using Audacity, aside from using Fiverr, we have Upwork.com, which is very interesting because you can actually search specifically for Audacity-related jobs. And here, as you can see, under each um, gig here, we actually have the specific tag that says Audacity Jobs. And some of these, if you scroll over them, um, some of them are not necessarily remastering type gigs. They also have like um, composition type gigs as well as voiceover gigs which you can also do as I'll show you with another software very soon but um, basically if I just scroll through here we have a lot of gigs that involve audacity for example um, mastering some podcasts and um, also let's see editing a podcast another one podcast launch support sound engineer um, producer audio editing and things like that and not only can you consider these Audacity specific gigs on Upwork, you can also just more generally search up straight up um, audio remastering jobs and just look through these for even more opportunities. And I think the great thing about Audacity is that it's so versatile and it's free and a lot of people use it and are very good at it and can teach it. You can just go over to say YouTube to type in say um, Audacity, Audacity tutorial or Audacity how to do whatever and just straight up follow whatever tutorial or step-by-step -step guide they have on YouTube to do exactly what you want to do. And with Audacity, you not only can remaster voice clips like I just showed you, but you can also do it for audio and even add special effects such as auto-tune, which is really cool, and other ways to edit and tweak music and vocals and things like that, all of which you can learn right online. 
And finally, if you want to be able to take this even further and do your own voice recordings plus being able to remaster them using Audacity, I recommend a, another free software called VB Audio um, Voice Meter, where you can just type a voice meter straight up into Google to be able to find it and download it. And um, you can actually just use my settings to sound exactly like I do. I use a special filter I actually got from another video that taught this. So I'll actually link up that video below, which will show you exactly step by step how to set up voice meter. Um, and then um, they actually have a template attached that you can just upload onto the software to apply this sort of voice filter to your own voice, which I sort of tweaked and have my own here. So if you want to use mine, you can just look at these settings and just mainly on these two columns here um, you want to make sure this is right this is negative 7.8 this is M and then on the left sliders this orange dot here is in this position and then this is also on the left and so on and so forth Anyway, I think this money making opportunity has a lot of potential and a relatively low learning curve and again high efficiency so definitely consider it if you want to do some sort of freelancing. But if you want to learn how I personally earn passive income online with my very own passive income online business, sort of redundant there. But anyway, if you want to learn how to do so, be sure to check out the first link in the description box below for my top recommended guide that contains step by step tutorials as well as templates for you to easily get started on your own. And with that, thank you so much for watching, like the video if you liked it or found it helpful, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more cutting edge videos about making money online and digital entrepreneurship just like this one. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.